All right, everybody, Camper here again, and this is part two of my post Appalachian Trail through hike gear review. It's going to be all about hiking clothes, what I wore in the winter, the summer, what was my everyday wears. Stay tuned. So first, I'm going to talk about my everyday clothes, clothes that I wore pretty much every single day of my through hike and did not change winter, spring and fall, basically. Um, first, I'm going to start out with my shirt. I used, uh, I brought two shirts, but this is one of them. And it's, I got this at Costco and I think it only cost me maybe 12, 13 bucks. It is an Under Armour uh, t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt. Um, it's wicking material. Uh, very comfortable, uh, very durable, never got a hole in it. Um, you know, easy to wash, easy to dry, no worries. You know, I could wear this shirt for, you know, three to four days before I would have to switch out to the other one. So definitely recommend it. This is one of the pieces of gear that you can budget shop on. So just look for yourself um, a, a wicking material type short sleeve shirt. Uh, next is Darn Tough Socks. This is the hiking length. Highly recommend it. Never got a single hole in any of my Darn Tough Socks. Very, very comfortable and never got a blister. Uh, next is underwear. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Aficionados is probably one of the uh, most popular underwear brands on the Appalachian Trail, but I chose the Duluth Trading Company Bullpen Briefs. I chose these because they stay put especially on your thighs. And this is a longer size, okay? And so this would go just above my knees and they stay put, they don't ride up, which is kind of get, can be uncomfortable at times. Uh, and just like they advertise on TV, um, you know, they're um, the wicking type material. There are no chafing, no stink, everything good. Highly recommend the bullpen underwear briefs. Next, I have the Columbia Convertible Hiking Pants. Outstanding product, lasted me the entire hike. Um, these are also treated with insect shield. I would recommend that if it's gonna be a daily wearer, okay? Something that you're gonna wear and you're wearing your pants. And I like the convertible pants because most of the time I wore it just as shorts and I would just store the legs in my clothes bag. But there were many times, obviously, February, March, and. Um, in the uh, towards the end of my hike uh, in New England that I would start the day wearing the legs. Uh, but most of the time I would just wear these as shorts. But they're treated with insect shield so you never have to retreat them. All right, next is my ball cap. I use the Marmot uh, Mountain Scene trucker style flat build hat. Absolutely love this hat, extremely comfortable. Uh, you know, boy, this is a really faded, but I use this as an everyday wear. I wore it every single day, all 171 days. This was on my head at one time or another. Um, love this hat and no pickleball, you can't have it. <laughs> uh, I wore gloves to hike in, fingerless gloves. These are actually bike riding gloves, okay? They're, they're by a company called Peril and they have like a gel padding, but boy, does this help your grip. It helps your hands, no blisters ever on my hands. And especially what's nice about these is when you get into New England, especially New Hampshire through Maine, you have a lot of hand over hand climbing. You are grabbing under rocks and, and, and trees and pulling yourself up. It's just nice to have something on your hands. So I definitely recommend, I only went through two pair the entire hike, uh, fingerless uh, bike riding gloves to wear. All right, next I used, over top of my boots, um, Outdoor Research Gaiters. Really lightweight, not insulated. Uh, they have the little hook here that goes in the toe area on, uh, of your boot, and then a little Velcro piece to go on the back heel of your boot. These were worn every single day, every day of my hike, and never had to switch out a pair. Definitely recommend the Outdoor Research Gaiters. Next is my buff. Uh, this is also not insulated, um, but boy, that's all you need really, in my opinion. 
um, because when you're hiking, you're you're working up sweat. You got anything that's going to be too warm around your neck, you're gonna you're gonna want to take it off. And especially during the whole issue with uh, social distancing, it was nice to have this around my neck, and I could just pull it up whenever I needed over my nose and mouth. Every day of my hike, I wore this very inexpensive. I think I got it at Walmart. Um, it's just an Ace brand, uh, you know, flexible uh, knee brace. Okay. I wore it every single day and it never wore out. It never got stretched where it was falling down and I never had any knee issues whatsoever. So definitely recommend this. Now onto my footwear. I went through only three pair folks, 2,200 miles, only three pair of Keen Targi 3 mids. These are a uh, waterproof boot. They have a waterproof membrane, incredibly comfortable. They come standard with a factory insole that is as comfortable as most insoles that you will buy to put into your shoes because your shoes come with not so great insoles. So I would use the factory insoles that came with these Keen Targi 3s for the first three to 400 miles before they start, they would start to thin out. And then I would switch them out. I only use two other insoles the entire hike. One is by Soul, and this is a performance thick um, insole with the cork, really, really comfortable. And then I also used one by um, Obix. Uh, very, rec uh, very, very good. It's green colored, um, very comfortable. So I tell you what, spend the money on your shoes. And again, these are waterproof, but you know what? The Appalachian Trail, you know, they're saying no pain, no gain, no rain, no main. That's very true. These will still get wet, but the key with these is it takes a long time to get wet. So you might be hiking all day and then towards the end of the day, they finally will start to get wet. Now they do take a little longer to dry out about an extra day than, than your average trail runner to dry out once they're saturated. Now, in a minute, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about another pair of socks and how I would combat that with these boots. So, let's move on to that. The other pair of socks that I would bring um, obviously I had a second pair of darn tufts, so I would switch these out, uh, you know, whenever they started to get too smelly, I would switch them out. But if my hiking boots were still really damp or wet in the morning, then I would put on the seal skin waterproof sock. And then even though my boots were wet, my feet stayed dry and toasty warm. And again, 2,200 miles, zero blisters. And part of that I can thank to the seal skin waterproof sock. It's a little pricey. I think I paid 60 bucks for this pair. Now on to the rest of my clothes. Now, of course I had a second pair of um, Duluth Trading Company bullpen briefs. Uh, I had a second uh, wicking style uh, short sleeve t-shirt that I bought again from Costco for like under 15 bucks. This is made by Speedo. I have a set of smart wool, uh, let's see here, 150s thermals, okay? Now, I really only slept in these, uh, February, March, um, that's it. For the first two months, I would just sleep in, the, in, in these thermals, and man, did that make life much more comfortable. I only one time hiked with these on. They're just too warm. I mean, I, I think I got about maybe six miles into that day. I had to stop. I saw a privy, went in there, took these off. Um, just because honestly, you're heating up so much when you're hiking, you have a good core temperature. You don't need the thermals to hike in. But uh, boy, were these nice to sleep in when it got real cold in February and March. Uh, next on, I also started, because of my mid-February start, I started with a North Face uh, three-quarter zip fleece. Very comfortable, uh, keep, keeps you really warm. And again, I really only wore this around camp at night. Um, you don't want to really hike in this. It's, you just get too hot. Um, and then for the winter, for my winter hat, I just had a, just a standard 
uh, winter uh, beanie. That's it. Just in, and you know, I was I'd wear this almost every day in February, uh, along with my ball cap. Next, let's talk rain gear. I used the North Face rain pants. Very very durable. I started out with REI rain pants, and they got a hole in them, and also the the uh, tie string broke um, before I got to uh, the knock, believe it or not. So I went with the North Face rain pants and they last me the rest of the way. Quality matters. Now raincoat, I started and I finished with the Marmot Minimalist Gore-Tex raincoat. One of the pieces of gear that I could not recommend more outstanding product. It's not overly heavy, definitely not overly bulky. This was an everyday wearer, February, March, um, a little bit into May in the higher elevations, and then towards the end, an everyday wearer. Um, so buy yourself a quality, um, I would recommend a Gore-Tex, but uh, there's so many companies out there that make good products. So you guys got to decide that for yourself. Now in the summer, I went with a lighter weight rain jacket. And I said, sent that one home. Uh, and I actually just bought this at Costco. It's made by um, 32 degrees. Now this thing only weighs, I want to say seven ounces. And it did an outstanding job to keep me dry. So definitely recommend right from Costco, 32 degree product. Uh, this is a size large. Now, this was also an everyday wear around camp, February, March, a little bit in May, and then again uh, towards the end. And this was my Patagonia Synthetic Puffy. I went with the synthetic um, just because I wanted to save a little bit of money and I, I don't, I layer really well, so I knew I didn't need a little bit more bulkier puffy and uh, I was incredibly impressed with the performance of this really good quality stuff I got it at REI uh, on sale anyways for like about 120 bucks so I definitely recommend the Patagonia synthetic puffy and that folks is all of the clothes that I used on my Appalachian Trail through hike so the next video is going to be about everything else that I haven't mentioned so stay tuned. I hope you guys are all doing well, and we'll see you down trail.